Hello, I'm Kristen Rogers. It's Thursday, June 13th. Here's a look at today's top stories from your trusted local news source. Today, one of the Iowa instructors stabbed while on a trip overseas is out of the hospital and on his way home. He's expected to be home today. According to his brother, David Zabner boarded a plane on Wednesday night. Zabner is the brother of Iowa State Representative Adam Zabner. Representative Zabner said his brother is a doctoral student at Tufts University. He's working with Cornell for a teaching program and was in China as part of a partnership with a Chinese university. Adam Zabner said his brother was stabbed in the arm. That attack happened at a park during the daytime. Police said a 55 year old man has been taken into custody. He attacked Zabner and the other three Cornell instructors, as well as a Chinese person who tried to intervene. They're all expected to survive. Iowa leaders are working with the State Department to get the other victims home. It's been more than three weeks since a deadly tornado tore through Greenfield and people there are still picking up the pieces. But now they say getting help isn't always easy. One man who lost his house said he applied for federal emergency management disaster relief, but doesn't think he qualifies for assistance. Now he's waiting for insurance to come through, but says communication has been hard to come by. Another woman who lost her home is debating talking to a FEMA representative in person after struggling with her application. I just went online to do it, but then like when I went back to check on it, it said like we were missing some documents or something. There's currently a FEMA State Disaster Recovery Center set up in Greenfield. It's at the Nottoway Valley Elementary School. This morning, we're working to find out the latest development in a near decade long missing persons case. The Meskwaki Nation Police Department says it spent five days searching a new potential area of interest in the case of a missing Meskwaki woman. Rita Papaki vanished nine years ago. She was last seen leaving the Meskwaki Bingo Casino Hotel. On social media, the Meskwaki Nation Police Department said a recent development led to an area of interest. The post did not say where that area is or what the development was. Authorities say they conducted a new search from Saturday to Wednesday with help from specialists from across the country. That includes FBI agents from Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles, as well as the Bureau of Indian Affairs Missing and Murdered Unit and Crime Scene unit from Montana. If you have information that could help in this case, contact the Meskwaki Nation Police Department. That number's on your screen. It's 641-484-4844. There is a reward for any information leading to her location. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.